Microsoft Office apps for iPad are finally here with Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Microsoft Word on the iPad lets you get started right away with a blank page, or you can choose from several pre-made templates. Once you're in a template, you can double tap on text to change it for your purposes. If you want to bring in an image, you can go to the Insert tab at the top, access your photo library, then drop the image into your document. When you want to edit something, you can go to the Review tab and turn on Track Changes. Now, when you make corrections, they show up on the page so the original writer can see the changes you've made. Next, let's check out PowerPoint. Just like Word, PowerPoint lets you start from scratch or you can browse through several good-looking templates. Even though the templates are pre-made, it doesn't mean your presentations will all look alike. When you create a new slide, you can choose from several different slide layouts to fit your specific needs. When you want to add some movement to your presentation, the easiest way is to add slide transitions. Touch the Transitions tab, then touch Transition Effect to see a large list of available transitions. Now when you preview your slideshow, you can make sure the transition is the look you're going for. Finally, for crunching numbers and presenting your data, let's check out Excel. Excel comes with several common templates too, perfect for financial reports, your household budget, or even just to make a calendar. One of the great things about Excel on the iPad is how it will recommend charts that will best represent your data. To switch from a boring spreadsheet to something more easily readable, simply highlight your data, then go to the Insert tab and touch Recommended to see several graph types you can choose from. Excel for iPad automatically adds your data to the chart, and you can use it in any document. All of the Office apps for iPad let you use Microsoft's OneDrive cloud service, or you can save a document directly to your iPad. When you're finished with a project, simply give it a name, then choose where you want to save it. If you save to OneDrive, you'll now be able to access your documents from anywhere on just about any device. That's all the time we have for today, but there are plenty more features I haven't shown here. Check out the full review of the Office apps for iPad to get all the details. I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and this has been a first look at the Microsoft Office apps for iPad. Thanks for watching.